Hello, it's Collette David, and today I had a request about how the E-Unit works. And so, like, it's for the turbine, the guy was saying that he does not exactly know why his engine goes reverse at times and not forward. And it buzzes. That all has to do with this. It has nothing to do with the motor. As long as the motor is making a sound, the motor's not dead. The motor's never die. First of all, you want to put lubrication in that right there, about four drops of something like liquid bearings. I wouldn't use motor oil because that's... Stuff's not the best for this stuff, it's too thick. And then, um, another thing if it's buzzing, if this is loose at all and not tight, like this is tight, then it could buzz and the you know, it couldn't work. And another thing is make sure your wires are connected, make sure they all go to the power points because if that's not working, if that's not hooked up, it might not work. And so, if everything's correct, then, um, this little knob right down here. And it gets power, should be going up and up and up. If that's working, then the unit should work. But it, the reversing and so on has nothing to do with the engine. That's why it gets some of the power, but it's nothing to do with actually reversing the train. Reversing the train is strictly this E unit slash reverse unit. So again, to check your problem areas, is this loose or is it tight? Also, is it on the contact point, which is right there? right there or is it like this where it's not touching anything if it's like this it's only going to go backwards or whatever position it's in that's how you lock it in neutral or reverse or forward and I'll lock mine to forward if mine has finicky E units because they're not that fun to fix but anyways this is tight if that's connecting if the wires all connected your reverse unit should be fine if it does not work then we'll try those issues and um, lube your trains where they need to be lubed and so on and you should have a working train. Now, how you put this together is basically, I got a part, but you put the shell in very gently. Okay. And your, your lubing spots basically are in between each one of the wheels. And in these little dots as well, you want to lube those. Lube these. Or six or twelve of them, and um, pretty much if you loop that spot and the engine spot which I mentioned, that should free it up. And um, if the unit has one of those problems, then that would be your your starting point to fix it. But anyways, that's a little bit about the the e unit and how to maintain the turbine. So I hope this helps with anyone that's having troubles identifying the problem with the reverse sticking or train not moving and all this helps. Thanks for watching.